Okay, so Spiral versus Pendulum matchup, uh, I feel like is very favored towards Spiral, uh, simply for the fact that Spiral easily outs Bagusko. They literally just draw a double summon or guess correctly off Super Agent, and then they can make their Helix, summon the Master Plan, decode over the Bagusko, then summon a Sleeper to like lock the Magician deck out of the game. Uh, which pretty much, and also the only like interruption they have is the uh, Pendulum Graph Trap, which targets, so if they play a resort on the field, you instantly have to pop the resort, otherwise you can't interact with the rest of their turn. So I feel like the matchup is super favored towards Spiral, whether they're going first or second. If they're going first, the combo pretty much, no deck can play through that. And um, going second, as I said, they have lots of really good, good ways to out the Bagusko, out the trap. Tough is really powerful, being able to pop, pop a card. Super Asian pops a scale as well, so their cards have so much value. Whereas, uh, which puts Pendulum deck in a really unfavorable position. So, Spiral versus Pendulum is also a topic people need to test a lot this weekend. We've seen a lot of Pendulum Magicians since the introduction of the last Forbidden Limited list, because Spiral got weakened a lot. And we also saw that Pendulum Magi Magician was the best deck prior to Spiral, which it doesn't show itself that much right now, but I also think that could be out of representation. Pendulum Magician has a lot going for it in like being consistent and being like very contradictory to Spiral. Like they, they have the same game plan. While one is a bit more powerful, the other is a lot more consistent. And people can use that as an advantage. Like if we see free games, for example, if Pendulum Magician gets a start one, that's probably already one game one because the hand trip Spiral plays are not that great against Pendulum. They have evenly matched, which is a bit big, big card, but that also depends if they play the go first or go second list, if they even main that card. So you can easily snack a game one if you just get to start and put up your field, they can't deal with it. Your other advantage is that they, the Spiral deck, will probably draw a subpar hand in one of these games. Well, you get to play all the games, they maybe won't. So you just have to win one game out of yourself. The deck structure against Spiral, the only problem is like the pendulum graph is a pretty good card against every matchup, but Spiral just draws it out too fast with Resort. And the going second build kind of deals a, in a good way with it, because evenly match is of course a very good card. You have more ways to go into Helix without needing like effects. So you have like double summons, you have more access to agent. And the problem about that matchup I see is like why you can be a bit salty after one of those matches is like many games go down to blind calling agent to out of Baguska. And of course that's just pretty random how it decided, especially because the Pendulum deck after searching all monsters turn one approximately has like 15 spells and monsters. So the odds are pretty 50-50 and that action alone can end the game on its own and I can see why people would complain about a game where your opponent just got the agent right, made Helix through your, through your Baguska, and snagged the game off of that. So Spiral versus Pendulum matchup is another interesting one in that the dice roll is going to play a very critical role. If the Pendulum player is able to set up first, they can put themselves in a position with the time Pendulum graph, where they can take out the first Spiral resort that comes into play, but if the Spiral player has gone first and that resort is already up, the, even if the Pendulum player can make their plays, they aren't going to be able to use any of their removal as most of it is targeting. Uh, on the Spiral side of things, they need to be going first and getting to Trigate Wizard so that they can lock out the Pendulum player. And if they haven't gone first, they could be struggling against the Baguska, where they'll need to be able to see something like a double summon to get their two monsters on the board, without using any effects and get through to the double helix and make their plays unnegated. 